Macronutrients are always overlooked when it comes to optimizing and accelerating your weight loss. However, they're extremely important. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about exactly how to calculate them and why you should. What's up YouTube, it's your boy John Mango and I'm back again representing Beyond the Iron weekly fitness content on this channel. You already know what it is. So if you haven't done so yet, I suggest you subscribe, but only if you wanna to get to your fitness goals faster and more enjoyably. So hey, that's up to you. Also, I do wanna say that I've created a free fat loss meal plan for anybody out there that's interested. Five days, free fat loss meal plan. Click the link below and get yours today. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna explain exactly why macros are so important to not only speed up your results, but actually take your results further than what you would imagine them to be. And then afterwards, I'll go ahead and tell you exactly how to calculate them so you can move forward today with tracking your macros, setting yourself apart from everybody else that falls off. So let's go ahead and talk about why are macronutrients important? Well, let's face it. Most people that try to lose weight, they don't even track calories. They don't track, they don't track anything. Let's be honest, right? They just, you know, work out four hour workouts a day, 10 days a week and uh, rely on, you know, cutting out anything that they see that comes from a plastic bag, right? So anything that doesn't grow out of the ground, don't touch it, man. That's, that's not, that's off limits. You know what I mean? So that's the typical approach. And it just so happens that that is the majority and the majority do fall off when it comes to reaching their weight loss goals. For that exact reason, it's not sustainable. It's not, there's no awareness. Then there's another group of people that make a lot more significant progress. And you may find yourself in this group. That's going to be the people that are aware of their calories they are aware that they have to eat less than what they're currently eating and it doesn't necessarily have to be cutting out certain foods but just eating less in general those people that are more aware of calories they get a lot further and they may be able to continuously lose weight but they'll then find that well they lost the weight but they don't look as good as they were hoping they would have when they lost that weight right so that's when it comes down to the final group of people and hopefully after this video you're gonna find yourself in that group and that's the group of people that they track macros, okay? It's taking calories to the next level. And the reason why doing so is so important is because tracking your macronutrients and having the proper macronutrient breakdown is going to target your body composition. So this is essentially how we separate losing weight on the scale to losing actual body fat and either building or sustaining muscle. This is what we call optimizing body composition and tracking your macros is necessary if you're looking to do that. And let's face it, you are. And again, in order to do that, you need to calculate the right macros because each macro plays a specific role and you need enough of that macronutrient to be able to have it play that role, which again will optimize your results. So going into each macro, again, very briefly, protein, very important. And it's actually gonna be the most important when it comes to losing weight because we're trying to lose that fat. The first reason why protein is important is because you need a certain amount to actually preserve your muscle mass or even build some, right? So if you don't have enough protein, when you're in a deficit and you're eating less calories than you burn, your body has a higher chance of actually digging into protein stores, AKA muscle, breaking that down, and that will also be dished out as part of the weight that you lost on the scale. So getting enough protein in combination with resistance training, which hopefully you're doing, that is going to make sure that you're sustaining as much muscle as possible as you shed away at that weight. The second reason why protein is important is because it's kind of twofold, but first is it's the most thermogenic of the macronutrients. What that simply means is you actually burn more calories eating protein, consuming protein, because your body does take longer and it requires more energy for it to break down. Whereas with the other ones, not so much. Also, the twofold part of that is that protein does keep you more full than let's say most carbs do. So it's gonna keep you fuller between meals. Obviously, I don't have to tell you why that's that important. Next up is carbs. Yes, carbs are essential to your fat loss and to optimizing body composition. The first and basically the main reason why is because it's going to fuel your performance. Without carbs, your performance will suffer and it doesn't matter who you are, that 
that is simply the case. It doesn't matter if, oh, I'm in ketosis now. No, no, no. Your body does not burn and utilize fat as an energy source as efficiently as carbs, okay? Your brain just does not run as efficiently. So your body needs those carbs to make sure that you are sustaining your performance. You're keeping your strength. Remember, that in combination with the protein is how you maintain muscle. And that way, when you're dropping that weight, you are actually looking better as opposed to just seeing the number go down, looking in the mirror and being like, well, God damn, what's going on here? So carbs are essential. The second reason is sustainability, okay? So people that look to cut out carbs, people that look to just dish them out altogether, my question to you is how are you supposed to sustain that? Okay, are you planning on cutting out carbs for the rest of your life? If so, good luck with that. That's gonna be a shitty life. And if you aren't, then what do you do when you introduce carbs back again, right? Because that's gonna draw in all the water, the glycogen's gonna fill into your muscles, and you're not gonna understand what's going on with the scale. So keep the carbs in there, utilize them to fuel your body, fuel the workouts, and let's face it, fuel your sustainable lifestyle over time. One more thing I do wanna add on top of that for carbs to piggyback off of the first point is that carbs are a protein sparing macronutrient. So again, remember, you're in a deficit, your body wants to pull from its protein sources. The more carbs it has, it signals to your body that, hey, we have more energy from an efficient fuel source. Let's not dig into those protein sources, right? If you cut carbs out, all you have is fats and protein, you have significantly increased the chance, and you basically guaranteed the chance that you're gonna burn significantly more muscle by doing so. So carbs, keep them in your diet. And fats, of course, last but not least, very important because of hormone balance and hormone production. Hormone regulation, essentially, which is obviously key because if your hormones crash, you're not going to feel so good. Your body's not going to respond so well and you're not going to adhere to your diet. The second reason is they keep you full in between meals. Similar to the protein, fats keep you the most full in between meals and that's because of the fact that it takes longest to digest. So that is why macros are so important and why you should should calculate and track them. So the question now is, John, how do I calculate them? Well, I'm gonna break it down for you real quick, give you a simple guide that you can do almost immediately, given that we've got some factors in place, and move forward with it. So the first thing you have to do, of course, is we gotta enter a caloric deficit. Now, how do you do that? There's a couple ways. The first way, you can go ahead and go online, type it in uh, on one of those calculators or in MyFitnessPal. They're gonna dish out a number that you should be following. Now, keep in mind, that number is not gonna be the most accurate most of the time. Maybe you get lucky and you hit the right number, perfect. But I can offer you the most accurate way to do so, and that's by clicking that video up there. You're just gonna have to track your weigh-ins, track your calories, find your maintenance calories, and cut them down from there. So assuming that you're in the calorie deficit now, let's say, let me give, let, let's take the example that you're on 2,000 calories, okay? My favorite example. You know what? Yeah, let's do 2,000, just because I feel like that is gonna be most people. There's obviously people on the lower end, but also the higher end. So let's say 2,000. Let's go ahead and calculate this right now for you. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take one gram of protein per pound of body weight. So let's say you're 2,000 calories in. I don't have anything to write this down in, but let's hope I can remember these numbers. Let's say you are 180 pounds. We're gonna be using 180 grams of protein. We multiply that by four, and we have 720. That's how many calories of your 2,000 is going towards protein. Next, we're not touching carbs yet, we're going straight to fat. You've got 720 calories for protein. You're gonna take 2,000, you're gonna multiply it by 25. That's 25%. You're gonna get 500 calories, and then from there, you divide by nine, follow me here, because there's nine calories per gram of fat. Now we've got 55 calories, or sorry, 55 grams of fat. So you've got 180 grams of protein, you have 55 grams of fat. You only got one macronutrient left, so let's do this again. Times nine, 720, so calories from fat was about 500, calories from uh, protein was 720. That gives us 1220. So remember, the total was 2,000. We're gonna take 2,000. We're gonna, uh, sorry, we're gonna subtract 1220 from that. And you've got 780. This is how many calories you have left over for your carbohydrates. Now, there's four calories per gram of carbs. You're gonna quickly divide that by four. You have 195 grams allotted towards carbs, okay? Again, do not cut that out. It's very important to know this, and it's very important 
that you find your macronutrient breakdown this way. I'm not saying this is the perfect one, but this is a great guide to follow. From there, you wanna adjust according to your lifestyle and preferences. So for example, maybe you do better off a little bit higher fats, in which case you would take your total calories, 2000, you would multiply it by 0.3, divide by nine, you've got 66 grams of fat, 11 more grams than before. So you're gonna have to play with it, okay? It's impossible to know exactly what your macros and calories are right off the bat without some trial and error on your part, which is gonna come from consistently tracking and consistently putting in the work, consistently being the key word there. But that is a baseline macronutrient split for weight loss. That includes carbs, correct. If you've been cutting out carbs, you've been blowing it big time. And I'm so glad that you're watching this video. By the way, if you watched until this point, first and foremost, thank you so much. I really appreciate you watching and your support. Please leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought of the video. Let me know what you think about the macro split. Let me know if you need help with your macro split and I'll be happy to do that. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Shoot me a message there. Shoot me some progress pics. Always looking forward to seeing how or if I can help you. And don't forget to like if you enjoyed the video, share with your friends and family that needs to see this and subscribe if you haven't already because I'm dropping another video real soon and you don't wanna miss it. Anyways, everyone, thanks again for watching. Hope you found it helpful. I'm out, I'll see you in the next one.